Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this. This is an insulation tester, a Mager from E1. And this is ordered from Banggood. They sent it to us for our consideration. So thank you very much, Banggood. And the model of this is the VC60B-V. It is a three and a half digit digital display AC voltage insulation tester. So inside the box, we get the manual. We get a set of probes, a set of clip-on leads, which is very nice to have when you're doing insulation testing because you don't really want to be um, holding anything. We get a Chinese manual and uh, an English manual. So very nice. Let's get the box out of the way. So here is the uh, meter itself. I'm wondering what I may have done with my ruler. And I don't seem to know. So anyway, this appears to be about seven inches by about four inches. So get an idea of the size. It's completely enclosed and has these little pop off clips on the top like that. Now on the meter, you can see the controls here. We have a power switch, a mega or giga ohm switch, and then you can switch between 250 volt, 500 volt, 1000 volt. Now this is for something else, which I'll show you as we get into it. And then we have our test button, which you can also push and turn for continuous testing. And then we have our connectors, which are four millimeter banana connectors. The two outside terminals are used for our insulation testing and the inside terminals are used to um, read a voltage or a resistance. So let me get this a little more set up and we'll take a better look at it. So I have the leads plugged in for testing. We have the red lead plugged into the live and the black lead plugged into the earth. And here is a look at the leads. I don't know how well you can tell that, but they are marked 1000 volts max cat three. And the cables are very flexible. They seem to be a very nice quality cable. Now they have these little tip protectors, which come on and off and that can plug directly into the clamps that are provided along with the meter so that goes that makes for a very handy testing situation now on the back you can see that it wants to be powered by one two three four five six seven eight double a batteries so well i was wrong it's actually six because you can see here there is no connection between those there so that's going to want nine volts all right i'm going to get set up here and we'll do a couple of tests with this old guy okay so i figure our first test that we'll do is actually see how much voltage this puts out in its different modes and we've got the aneg uh, 8008 here and i'm going to clamp the leads into the probes like that and make sure they're well separated power up we're going to start with 250 volts and when I press the button we should see somewhere around 250 volts on the meter and we should be able to see what the input impedance is over here so 242 volts 9.9 .9 mega ohms all right now we'll take it up to 500 volts should see somewhere around the same thing, uh, 500 volts or so on here, and around 10 mega ohms of impedance. Ready and testing. 462 volts, 9.8 mega ohms. So we're pretty close. Do we dare a thousand volts? Well, it says it's Cat 3, thousand volt rated. I got big ones. Do you? What the hell? 
860 volts. So far, so good. All right, let's power that off and we'll take this out. And for our next test, I will show you one of the things that can be useful for around your house. Okay, the green snaky thing you see here is just the standard, you know, extension cord thing. So what we can do is we can test for any breakage in the insulation. Since this is what this is, is an insulation tester. So we can test between ground, oops, kind of hard to get these to stick on here. Okay, so there we go. We're hooked up. We'll test be between ground and one of the input leads. We'll start at 250 volt. And you can see it's displaying a one, which means there is no uh, continuity between there at all. Now we'll test between the other input lead and ground. Again, nothing. And then for our final tests with this, we will test in between the two inputs. If I can get this to open up and play nice. All right. So we'll test that out. 250 volts. Nothing. We can take it up to 500 volts. Test it and nothing. And we'll test it all the way up at 1,000 volts. Ready and nothing. So that tells me that this extension is pretty safe to use. Pretty cool. All right, another test. Um, remember I told you about this button up here, the 750 volt with the wavy line. That is our AC test button. So what we can do here is we can switch our leads over to COM, whoops, to AC voltage and common, turn the meter on. And if we probe this extension cord here with the leads, you can see it's telling us that we're getting about 130 volts in there. So now we'll do one more test just to show you what could happen with a line that has some insulation damage. All right, for our final testing for day for today, I've got about three feet of 22 gauge hookup wire. This is stranded copper wire. And you can see I've just cut it off cleanly at this end. This end I've cut it and stripped it just so that we can hook it up to our leads. Now, since this is, should be good wire, we should see no reading when we fire it. Good. 500 volts. Good. And 1,000 volts. Good. So let's turn that off. And let me get a knife. And let's see what would happen if this wire somehow had some insulation damage. Ooh. Looks like somebody cut too hard. Let's, let's try that again. We'll cut in here to damage the insulation without cutting through the wire. That's the idea. All right. So let's take it again. Whoops. Turn it on. We'll start at 250 volts. She looks good. 500. Good. And it will arc at 1,000. No. Still good. All right. Let me see if I can damage that wire just a little more. I've worked on damaging that insulation in the wire just a little bit more. And if we test it now, you can see it's uh, short right across it. Let's see, we don't want it to be, we don't want it to be too easy, right? Let's, uh, so we can dicker it just a little bit there. All right, let's try it again. Try it at 500. No. 
Turns out air is a good insulator. Who'd have thunk it? All right, 500. Mm, there you go. So that's kind of an indication of what you will get if there's a problem with your insulation. Now again, this is more of an electrician's tool because this is fantastic for troubleshooting motor windings, coils, compressors, you know, stuff like that, where it could be shorted to earth. But for the price, and this is right around $50, that's a heck of a nice little piece of equipment to have if you've got a lot of extension cords around or you've got an old fan or something you want to test, you know, whatever. Pretty nice. You know what? I give this thing double thumbs up. It has uh, done everything it set out to do. Comes with uh, decent quality leads. Nice compact box. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and thank you for subscribing. I'm out of here. Peace.